But uh, yeah, howdy everyone. How's Hello you everyone. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's just skip the phone. Let's, let's get straight to the podcast and everything. So let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Welcome to the Super Soul Shaker Podcast. Get ready for the next podcast. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so for those that don't know what I'm actually doing, I'm actually um, doing a podcast. This is basically, I'm just going to be taking all the um, big players from, um, you know, anywhere in New Zealand. And um, yeah, whenever they can do one with me, we'll just be running it. We'll be asking some questions, how they got into Tekken, what sort of motivates them to win a lot and, and everything. So who I have here with me tonight is none other than Blackout Ajit Siva. Hello. How are you doing, Ajit? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? No, I'm doing really good, man. I feel, yeah, um, this tournament, man, has like, you know, sort of hyped up a lot of people. What, what tournament is that? That's the about? LPL. Ah, yeah. So we just had that. Yeah. So let, let me start off by asking, how you how did you do? Um, I got bumped into losers, which really sucked. Yep. yep. Yeah, it really sucked big time. But, um, nah, at least I'm actually hanging by a thread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, but... Your first match was against P-Town Akuma, I think? Yeah, first? yeah, he had a... Everyone kept on saying that he had a, uh, you know, a Mishima player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I that was one was, of those people. Yeah, I know, it's so dumb. And then, yeah, I just, I can't believe I lost to that stuff, eh? But then, yeah, I came back. But uh, let, let's talk about you, man, because it's, this podcast is about you. Mm. So let's right. let's get into it. What happened there? You were up against Rosetro. Yes, uh, the came third place at Red Zone Rumble, beat Zazob uh, in a really close set. Yeah. And, um, Speaking of beating Zazob, he was yeah. not happy about that. I uh, didn't who's think Zazob. Yeah, about that loss of Rosetro. I think you're understanding how salty he was. Yeah. Now, I'm um, basically what happened was because I live with Zazob with yep. Jamie. Um, in Christchurch for Red Zone Rumble. What happened was when I actually came back, was it from the Salty Suite? Uh, yeah, that was after the tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Salty bar. Suite, man. And then I came home, I slid the door open and literally just salt, just like, just, <laughs> just came gushing out of the motel room. It was like, what the hell, man? I'm like surfing on salt. It's just crazy, eh? Cute picture. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's cool. Eh? It's, it is cool. Really, what really, do you really think about that picture? It's really good. And um, that, <laughs> I have that exact... I'm wearing that jacket. And I have that same shirt in my bag for work tomorrow. Oh, wow. So that's, that's so cool. <laughs> that's actually... Um, yeah. My hair's a lot different. Yeah, it right. is. Yeah. No, but it's it's like... It, it's cuter over there. Yeah, it's, it's way It's kind of ugly here, yeah, you know? I, I prefer that. Video, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so, yeah. No, thank you very much to... Um, uh, to Virtual Bacon for doing this. Yeah, um, yeah really he's well going to be doing a lot of art for me, especially if this podcast kicks off. Um, it's actually going to be... Um, it'll be probably a long time running thing yeah. um, with, with all that. So anyway, with the Red Zone Rumble there, yeah, yeah. With, with Zazob just with, with just endless salt just rushing out. Yeah. It's like, what the hell, man? Like, if you watch rewatch his match against Rosetro, it's a lot of unfortunate things happened. And just a lot of weird interactions, like people went off axes and things whiffed, and and uh, Rosetta took the advantage of that and eliminated Zazo, uh, uh, only to end up losing to Corn Willis, who uh, came second. Ah, oh, but yeah, speaking of losing to Corn Willis, and speaking of Corn Willis, oh, he man. was another guy that actually got eliminated in tonight's LPL. So tonight's LPL had two huge upsets. Uh, first, of course, being NCA, who lost to Drax, and then losing to you. Oh uh, yeah, I kind of felt bad for that, but um, in, in a you, way... Did you use Ling Shayu against him in the loser's bracket? Uh, no, actually, um, funny story is, I thought I was going to lose anyway. Mm -hmm. I was pretty much just like, you know what, F this. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to use Jack. Okay. I'm going to use Jack 7, and if I do well, I'm going to do well. If I lose, I'm just going to lose and just have my head held high. Mm -hmm. Cool. You didn't lose. I didn't. That's no. awesome, yeah. No, so I, I, caught, I caught the tail end of that match and uh, you could tell you, both of you guys were nervous and I think Connor was slightly more nervous. So that's that's a bit of a shame that Connor's out um, already. And the other upset was Corn Willis who lost 2-1 uh, to Thomas. 
Kono, yeah. Abuji, the man of many names. Mm. And then off stream and losers lost to Kevlar for also from Wellington. Um, yeah. Historically, Cornwall has had the matchup uh, against Kevlar. He always wins. But yeah, he took care of it. Yeah, I know. But um, yeah, like that's the thing with Tekken 7 with, um, you know, it's just so many players now. I can't believe my eyes. That the scene so is huge. Many, yeah. I actually think that, um, you know, Street Fighter would have actually had it in the bag. But it just seems like, um, it just seems that Tekken has just taken over. Um, you know, has just Pretty sort of... everything, yeah. Yeah, it's just and, taken over Street Fighter. And Tekken's been out, well, what is it now? October. It's been out for three months October? now. October? Sorry, August. It's yeah. been out for three months now. Um, and it's going it's going good. I think, I've been playing since Tekken DR. Yeah. Uh, the end of DR, really. Mm-hmm. Um, since... I think this is the best scene, biggest the scene's been. Yeah, definitely. In, in Tell us, history. yeah. So you've been playing since DR. Yeah. So oh wow. Okay. I, I played DR for like a year. Oh okay. And then Tekken Six right, came out. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I think yeah, I got that... my platinum card in DR. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of commitment. Yes, it was a lot. Of I money. actually, I think I got mine in DR as well. It was a lot of student account. loan. Yes, but the thing is that for me is I started back in five point oh. All right. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, like that was when, you know, Broken Steve, yeah, yeah. Broken, broken Hina, every, every, Broken... Bag. Broken he, Broken, broken Fing. Broken, broken Fing. Fing. Oh, that is, that, that uh, sidestep four, uh, man, just goes right through. Don't, like, don't what the hell? Me. It's safe. Yep. What the hell? Yep, safe, low launcher. They're yep. high crushes. Uh, sometimes mid crushes. Yeah. Um, yeah. People complain about AOP and things like that now. They have no idea. They have no idea. No idea. Steve, come on, what was that? T4 like, Jin. Yeah. Three? Like you hold three down yeah. and then one, one. One, two, one, two, Albatross, two. Yeah. But you, you win matches like that. Like, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. Um, but yeah, I've been, I, from my memory, this is the biggest the scene's been. So I hope it continues. Mm-hmm. And I hope mm-hmm. it's not just a new, new game fad thing. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. But it seems like um, it's gaining a lot of momentum still. Yeah. Um, Especially with LPL and things yeah. like that. It's better than um, Tick and Tag 2. I oh, think Dick, Tick I, and Tag 2 was just a complete disaster. I didn't. I did not like Tick and Tag 2. Yeah? I Tell us more I, about that. I just don't like how... First of all, I don't like Bound. Mm-hmm. I hate Bound. Yeah. Um, and Tick and Tag 2, I don't I don't like r- rage crashes, tag crashes and all that oh, stuff. Oh, that is a lot of... That's that, a lot of junk. I just didn't like the mechanics of that game. I that's li- just I don't like the damage. I don't like rage. Yeah. Um, rage is a lot better now. Which is great, because when well, you rage, can use it, you yeah. can use like the rage. Rage has utility besides just you know doubling your damage. <clears throat> and tick and six, it was horrible. Um, oh, getting you... getting wall thrown by Jack with his you know punch throw. Yeah. And then eating a bound combo at the wall, and then you die in one combo. Um, that's not a fun way to go. I used to remember like um, that exact combo getting performed on me. Do you remember uh, Gerard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that guy, man, was crazy with Jack. Um, do you remember Toothy? Yes. Yeah, so... Oh, at our, at our regional, Who could fucking remember... Like, you know, forget at, Toothy. At our regionals, yeah. um, it was the last regionals we had at Time Zone in Wellington. Toothy, I was up that round. Life lead, huge life lead. Mm-hmm. I had over three quarters of life health. Mm. He came up to me, got that throw on me, and killed me in one regionals. Speaking of Toothy's <laughs> Jack, um, do you remember that time that he actually lost his, um, his card? Optimus Prime card? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually know who had it. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he get it back in there? He didn't. No, nah, it was some homeless guy that actually um, <laughs> that that took it. What? And you only see him sometimes play. And then when when basically you know when when people come, he'll just sort of um, you know lose straight away, and then just take his card out and just. No, okay, I've never seen. Him. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, um, Man, that's a shame. Yeah, that was a cool as um, outfit. Yeah, I remember at um, well, they had an Armageddon tournament once, and Toothy was playing the Zek and all the you know. People, all the kids walking by, they'd be like, oh, Optimus Prime, what's he doing in Tekken? Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's funny. Do you have this on, um, do, do you have this on Twitter? I'm mean, sorry, Twitter? What's is that? it on Twitter now? The, the podcast? Yeah, yeah, but oh, okay. I, I tweeted it out. Yeah, I think I should too. But no, um, just tell us about like, you know, what got you into Tekken. Obviously, this is what the podcast is. It's about, you know, sort of getting real with the players, you know? Um, yeah. So, hang on, I'm just doing something. Um, so, I'm not from New Zealand. I wasn't born here. Yeah. Uh, I came here when I was nine. Of and course. And Singapore Airport, 
Yes. When we were coming here, I played this game. Uh, PlayStation was a brand new thing to me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, cool, what's this? And, and then, how many years ago was that? How, how old were you? I was nine. Oh, you were nine? Okay. Yeah, that was about 19 years ago. Yeah. Um, and then I was playing this guy who, who's like a capoeira fighter. And he just mashed kicks and I was beating a lot of people. Was it just Eddie, was it? Yeah. Oh, and I was no. beating like all these other kids at the airport. Yeah. I don't even, I was just mashing kicks. And it felt good. And I was like, man, this game's cool. Was this Tekken 3, was it? Yeah, it was Tekken 3. Oh, wow. And then when I came here, Tekken 3 wasn't out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what was that game I played? I had no idea what game I played. And then it got released on console. Mm. And I was like, hey, it's this game. I played this game. And yeah, that's pretty much how I learned about Tekken. Wow. And okay. then um, my friend... Uh, David from Wellington um, he used to play old school player the name was Take Off Heaps Take Off Heaps right yeah. David he, right, um, right. I didn't know I've known him since college yep. he I knew that he was really good at Tekken yep. and I was like oh that's cool and then I and then he's I don't know how it came about but he started teaching me oh right okay and then he, okay. he introduced me to the arcade he's like oh you should go to the arcade and play yep. so I went to the arcade and I got I got bodied by this <laughs> by this like Indian looking guy he was playing um, he was playing Devil Jin at the time he was playing Devil Jin at the time so I was like man that that sucked so you know I went back you know pl- learned the game more next time I came to the arcade I played that same guy mm. he had a card inside mm-hmm. this time he was playing Wang oh it wasn't it wasn't uh, Cornwallis was it no 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 <laughs> it was Nuan do you remember him oh Nuan yes yeah. did you yeah um, funny story about Nuan is that he's in Auckland now yeah yeah he's no. married and he lives down the road from the house that I grew up in. <laughs> True. Yeah. Cool. Small that is world. actually really, really funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, next time I play this guy playing Wang. Yes. Played, yeah. So Wang was his main. He was using Devil Jin just because I was on some some random. Uh, and I beat him. But then he beat me like six times later. He bodied you, yeah, right? Yeah, I beat him once, yeah. one game, and then he got mad and bodied me. So I was like, cool, I can beat him. And then that's pretty much, I spent more time in that time zone. Uh... I spent more money at time zone. Uh, way <laughs> As more you mo- do. Way more money. Um, so this is when I was in uni. And I'm doing quotes when I say uni. In uni. I will just go to uni. Get halfway and then go to time zone. Instead. So that's pretty fun. Uh, um, and then yeah. That's how I got into Tekken. And then Tekken. Uh, time zone closed. I think Tekken 6 was, was the time that I met you. Uh, yeah. Would have yeah been, that would have been. When we came to Auckland. Yeah. That, yeah. that would have been like what? A good... I reckon that's about ten years ago. Two thousand eight, I believe. Yeah, well that yeah, nine years close to ten years, yeah. very close. Yeah. Oh my god, like just time, time time just goes uh, yeah. just flies. That's cool. Yeah. Uh yeah, I went to some I went to I forgot what I went for. The first tournament I went for in Auckland it was just a random time zone one. And the second tournament I came up for was a Teams one. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Yeah, that was real fun. Um two E two. I think a uh, bunch of bunch of boys from Wellington came up. Me T4 Jin, mm-hmm. uh, Toothy Diff, uh, we all came up. That was awesome. That was great fun. Wow. Yeah, so... And then we lost an arcade and that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got Auckland still, but yeah. now you don't really need an arcade. You don't, no, no. No, I don't really see arcades being a popular thing in New Zealand in the next five years. I, it's probably... Yeah. They're still going to be around, but it's more or less like ticket games yeah. and things. And like, you know, it's, it, I guess they're... Uh, Point now is just like a family thing. You can just take your kids, or something. Oh, you you that's, that's play how the, play the party games. Well, like that's Smash. how we grew up. Is that you know we went to arcades. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is that it wasn't at like a it wasn't at the pictures. It wasn't at the airport or anything. It was more or less at your local dairy. Yeah. Your local dairy, Pretty your much. local takeaway, <laughs> where you get like two dollars worth of chips. Yeah. And then you just like you know you ask them. You know, your parents give you the money and then you keep the change and, you know, you just swap them out into 20 cent pieces. Yeah, we had, um, and there you go. across the road from a college, we used to have a, a 352 machine, but that, that fish and chip shop got closed due to health concerns. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, the dude had like wetters around. Ooh, okay. Yeah. One time he was making like fish and chips and he was like, he, we made an order and he turned around and there was a massive wetter on his shoulder and then he tried to get it off and it disappeared. Oh no, it probably went into the fryer. Exactly, so someone could have eaten battered widow. <laughs> um, so it got closed. Yeah, Yeah. Well, so it should. <laughs> was the guy Chinese? No, it was Waka. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. And, you, think uh, that, you think that, you know, um, that, you know, it's just dodgy Asians that... Yeah, and, uh, and then that it got taken that. over by Asians. Uh, Leo's? Oh, yeah. But it's actually really good. 
Yeah, okay, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... So how did you start in Tekken? For me, well, since, you know, this is a brand new podcast, I mean, people would want to know... Who is Chrono? Who is Chrono? But, you know, I, I say that I'm a nobody, but, you know, I... Uh, who, 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 what do I know? What do I know? You know, I'm, I've been playing Tekken for, I don't know, since Tekken five days competitively. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah but, yeah. uh, I've always, ever since when I was like nine or something, that's when Tekken two came out. Yeah. And that was when they were in the, um, that's when, you know, my local takeaway had them. <laughs> yeah. Had, it had two. Yeah. Tekken two. That was like the first Tekken that I've played. But uh, what happened was... Um, See, I thought you started competitively being tag, but anyway, go on. No, no. Um, I I don't like the tag system. Hmm. I, I never really liked the idea of having two players. So when I was just a casual, just a masher, mm. I, of course, bought Tech and Tag 1. I love that game. Mm. But I think I, lo- like, I loved it for different reasons than it being a tag game. At the time, I was like, man, it's so cool playing with two characters. Yeah. But it's not really. It's not the greatest it gives me more of a character crisis yeah I don't, well that's I don't that's, like the, that. that's the problem i had when i was playing tag two yeah, yeah. i had a character crisis me too. Yeah. and i hated the fact of having um you know um you know the tag crashes the uh the synergy mm. and things like that. that's why i went with lars because he's got synergy with everyone uh, um like i've made leo since Tekken six since she came out but she also synergized with everyone and so did lars so i just picked Team only practice. It was easy. Mm. Uh, that team was so cheap. So yeah. cheap. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, with, uh, with me playing, um, I fell in love with the game when 3 came out. Mm. I wasn't very much of a you know good player or anything like that. I was probably, what, 11, 12 at the time when I was an intermediate. Yeah. And uh, that's when Tekken 3 came out on PlayStation. Mm. Um, but before then, um, I actually... There used to be... Because, okay, for all those that don't know, I grew up in Auckland, and I, my local mall was St. Luke's, okay. St. Luke's yeah. Shopping Mall, yeah. and um, around about when the time I was in intermediate school, um, they, there was an arcade. Like, like intermediate uh, school? Yeah, yeah, no, at, um, at oh, St. Luke's. Luke's. Oh, okay. And cool. it was a massive arcade. That's cool. It was massive. It's got those big screen ones where... Um, you know, where I think it was Street Fighter, like, you know, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, mm. Marvel vs. Capcom yeah, yeah, 1. We, we had one of those that time. Yeah, then. yeah, and it was, it was screen. great. Yeah. Like, it was the best thing. It, it was only there for, like, half a year okay. before it shut down. But then, yeah, the games were just constantly changing. Yeah. And that's the, awth- that's the awesome thing about the 90s. Yeah, yeah. It was just... So many games. So many games to play. But then again, we're getting to that point now. Yeah. With so many different fighting games coming out next year, we have all on console though. But yeah. back then, you know, everyone just goes there. But I guess that you know, um, when we were in um, when we were in the nineties, and that was when the arcades were there. It wasn't really about playing people; it was just about playing the game against yeah, yeah. the computer, yeah. and you know, just exactly. just trying to clock it. Yeah, you and know, you're just like, oh, some, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this. Along. And then some guy will come along and you'll smash it, and you you, know, you get real salty. So you want to beat that guy, so you can cl- you can clock the game. Yeah, exactly. You're, just, like, you're like, come on, man, I want to just clock the game. Yeah, yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's when um, I, I started playing. And then as I was like, oh, Tekken 3. And then um, my friend was like, oh, no, man, no, man, just pick Eddie, pick Eddie. And I'm like, why? He's like, he's cool, he's cool. And then I picked Eddie. And then he was like, just just press like the bottom buttons. Just, just smash <laughs> them. And then you'll, you'll do the all classic. these cool as combos. It's like okay cool and then yeah. yeah and uh that's when like you know gone was out and everything yeah, yeah. yeah but the the most memorable part of um tekken 3 was when i was in saint luke's as a kid i actually um you know this is when the te- uh, this is when the arcades gone they yeah. were gone so um instead of actually going to the arcades we used to go to those cd shops you know oh, those yeah, music yeah. shops yep. and yep. things like that yep. like you know i forgot what they're called like EDM or something. Yeah, and... we had real groovy in Wellington. Oh well, we still have a real groovy True. here. Yeah, but um, it's different now. And um, you know, you'll have um these parts where like you know where they'll have like a promo setup. 
Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know that's when Tekken is out, and then you'll have two controllers on there. Oh, so you just go play there. Yeah, we just go play there, yeah. and then like so obviously the rules were like you know just between us hood rats. Yeah. You know, like or like you know what we call uh, hoggers. Yeah, yeah. You know, we just be like, nah, nah, you lost, you lost. When it nah, stays like, on, you know, like winner stays on, winner stays on, and yeah, that's how um you know we start doing all the cheat moves yeah, and yeah. things like that, and uh, yeah, that was cool. Do you that, remember uh, that store, Decker? Yes. Yeah. So we used to have one. I used to have one down the road from my house. Yeah. And I used to go with my mates and play on the the promo setup there. Yeah. For Ticket Three. <laughs> like, oh my god, this game is so cool. <laughs> uh, one thing though was like the game. Um, if people didn't notice, um, the game was actually a lot slower than it, than it looking normally at it now, is. Yeah, definitely. I noticed. I didn't notice at the time, but compared to what it is, Ticket is now. You have to realize though that it is um fifty hertz, and fifty hertz is garbage. Yeah, yeah it is. It is, and like you know, I, I'm not. I don't know what the frames are in Tekken Three, but oh, there's a lot of mechanics that don't exist anymore. A bunch of new ones. It's pretty cool. Tekken Three made the yeah the thing that made Tekken Three for me was the soundtrack, and since then the soundtrack has been real good. Tekken Seven's okay. It's not the best, but the soundtrack really makes it made made Tekken for me at the time. Yeah. Hey Dan Banter, how's everything going? What yeah. up, Dan? Dan is funny. You know what he did on Rambats? He was calling out all these people when he was like going, Oh yeah, I call you out, man. Like, cookie cutter. Now you suck, man. I'm going to beat you, man. Um, and then, speaking of, when's the Seville man, versus Dan Bader money match? I don't know, man. Like, they're not forking out any money. Like, first of all, Seville keeps thinking that he's like poor. Oh, okay. And Dan Banter's like 17, so he's not rich. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, if... Seville was confident enough he can be like I can pay for you but nah that's just extreme that's some real salt between the two which I don't think is there is I think nah I don't think so um let me just I just want to bring up the bracket for next week because I don't know who I'm playing and do you know who you're playing for next week I think I'm playing Rosetro oh, okay so yeah yeah it's gonna be I'm gonna try my best just to uh sort of study up on what's happening and things. On King, do you want to do you want to give me my King notes? I don't think they'll help because they didn't help me today. King but, notes. Yeah. <clears throat> First of all, you need to break grabs to be able to break chain throws. And yeah, I didn't for break sure. any grabs. Um, let's see. So, oh, cool. This is this is some uh, crazy losers matches, but they haven't updated. Wait, you're not even playing. What? Yeah, you know, you'll know you be playing the loser of Zazov and Parasite NZ. Oh, no. Why? Because oh, because you won. God. <laughs> you won your first match. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so there's only one loser's match, which I think that they're doing tonight, which is Honey Honey and Maven. Honey Honey Malhani. Yeah. Honey. That is such a cool name. Yeah, isn't it like some anime or something? I no, heard, it's something I heard, else. I, heard, I, heard, I saw the guys talk about it. I didn't pay attention. <coughs> um... Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty funny name. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan favorite at Red Zone Rumble. Yeah, well, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of ups and downs with this whole um, this whole tournament, really. Mm. Um, especially with um, especially with Connor NCA. Yeah, I felt that he sh- he could have played a lot better. Um, I, I can't remember his. I watched his uh, winners match, um, and it wasn't that he was unfamiliar with Lee. But he just pay, played way too passively for my liking. And he just got hit by a lot of things that he shouldn't have been. Which he wouldn't have been if... He wouldn't have been hit if he was a bit more aggressive. And every time Drax went to Hitman stance, mm-hmm. Connor got hit by something. No matter what he did, he got hit. And I'm True. not sure what he was trying to do in those situations. Well, all I can say is that Connor, at one point, and in the losers match, he was hit by my debugger probably twice in a row yeah it happens to me all the time yeah i hate jack anyway i saw i saw you doing a down forward two jack's launcher that's a minus 14 bear panda has two punishes but she not she oh yeah panda i think it was panda Mm -hmm. instead of doing a proper punish Connor went for Panda's twin pistons. Oh yeah, which is launch punishable, mm-hmm. which you didn't punish I either. I should have. I should have what down four. <laughs> you should have down four to it. Right. Yeah. Okay. But it was just I think nerves are getting because it was the last round in the losers bracket of 
you know, this is, this is a big tournament. I would just run up to him and just go 2-1. Yeah. Just 2-1 twice. It's like, run up, 2-1. And then he'll he'll get hit by at least one thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't, personally, I don't like playing bears. Main reason I don't like playing bears is because they can't really move well. So they can't really sidestep that well. Oh, he moves really well with bears, though. I know, Connor does. But I feel like I can't move as well with bears as I can with other characters. Um, mainly, they, they sidestep. They're big. And they mm. get hit easy. But, Not to mention a lot of damage to the war, man. Oh, yeah. I, like, too many hits, man. I still don't know a good good combo against Bears as Eliza on the wall. Um, I haven't been able to figure one out. And no one has posted one on Twitter for me to steal either. So that's unfortunate. Um, I did ask Connor to let, let me some stuff. So hopefully he will. That'd be nice. Please, Connor. <laughs> Thanks. He, Connor's <laughs> a lab monster. He, he gave Jamie setups as law. Like, Jamie doesn't need setups as law. Give me setups. It's a new character, man. I don't know anything. <laughs> well, speaking of, um, you know, getting setups and stuff like that, um, I remember back in Christchurch when me and you were drinking at um, yeah, Optimus, place. Uh, yeah, at place, Optimus yeah. Dave's place. Or your place. Yeah. You were staying there. Um, and um, we were kind of tipsy. No, yeah, it was fine. You were Maybe fine? you were tipsy. No, I was, was a fine. bit tipsy. But yeah, um, apparently um, you were telling me how you actually trained like on a specific character so if you were to get bodied by someone or a character yeah you would actually do something called labbing which i want to sort of get out to the crowd here for all those people that are not um familiar with the game or sort of want to get better at the game like yeah tell us more about labbing uh so labbing is training mode you i pretty much just try you also have tech and bot as well right yeah i have tech and bot it's yeah. on pc only which is just awesome um, pretty much what I do is just, if I, there's a new character out or character I don't know, I just go through their strings and whatnot, see what, what's, you know, what doesn't jail. So what, what well, you can duck the high, high mid, you can duck the second high, things like that. See what's punishable, see which way they can, you can sidestep them and what ranges you can sidestep them as, what are their best moves and things like that. And yeah. there's a lot of, um, and you know, there's a huge list of, um, videos on youtube as well yeah so i just watch watch <coughs> people who play their characters and see what their best moves are yeah mm -hmm. and just train specifically against it mm -hmm. which way to it like you know if, as an example uh yoshimitsu has four forward four right. you can't size it at a range it's hard but you know that's a move that it's really good from yoshi it's safe it's a launcher it's a huge range things like that you need to know how to deal with it otherwise they, the other opponent can just keep doing it to you mm. um like when I started first playing Eliza. She has a string back one, two, four. Uh, two hits, counter hit launcher. Starts up in 14 frames. And the first two hits are minus 13. The last hit is minus 13, but leaves you on block. Mm -hmm. So characters like Eddie, Josie, Kazuya, I think one more, can launch it but for a full combo. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know that, you, know, that you lose on like you know, 70 damage potentially. Um, you can also sidestep the last hit. Mm -hmm. And since a lot of the people didn't know, the people I did, didn't know, I would just keep doing the move over and over. Yeah. Because yeah. at I least know it gives that, me so many damage on counter hit. Yeah, I know one thing for sure is that what you did was um, the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone, like, or the most devastating thing, mm -hmm. is when you, as Eliza, get them to a corner. An actual... Not, yeah. not, not behind... Not, not in a war in a corner where mm -hmm. there's two walls that is dangerous they, they can't get out yeah um so i i abuse the hell out of down one and uh down one into dive kick it's probably one of the strongest pressure tools for eliza especially in the corner it's insane uh usually plus on block so you can't really do anything you only get counter hit and if you do get hurt sometimes you get a free wall splat yeah um and then you kind of die so it's really good it's mm. really good um, and if you don't know how to deal with that kind of stuff, I'm just going to use it. Most people would, you know. Why wouldn't you? You just abuse it. Yeah. Like, a lot of people get... Um, I've seen quite a few people not being able to deal with running threes and stuff. Yes. Those are very linear. You need to practice how to sidestep them. And then you get a full launch if you sidestep properly. And it's pretty easy once you've practiced it. Uh, some characters are obviously harder. Like Claudio's running two. There's, it's really hard to sidestep. And you, you're really brave if you try sidestep it. But someone like Walls? Would, for me, I'll just duck it. Yeah, that's the, and then, that's the best and option. Then, with, especially with Ling. Yeah. You know, you could probably like duck and then, you know, just do a cheeky while rising four. Yeah. 
it's yourself. not it's not the best move but but like someone like you know. law his is his is long and slow it's pretty easy to decide simple if, if you practice against yeah. it um just things like that you need, to, you need to if something's if you're getting beaten by something you need to figure out how to deal with it and the best and way to do slapping. that is training training mode yeah and there's heaps of options now compared to when like taking six and dr and stuff we had no training mode options now it's really good you actually can do a lot of stuff you still can't record the opponent after you like jab them which mm-hmm. is really annoying for me because uh, street fighter 5 has that and that's really good but in this you can't do that <coughs> which sucks but it's really good uh, i don't play ranked much because i hate playing online um yeah you did mention that down in christchurch yeah I don't so you much. said that basically with um playing online it sort of makes you worse at the game um i me personally i get bad habits um because people can let me get away with so much shit uh, i don't know if i can swear on the stream that's fine yeah so people let me get away with all sorts of gimmicks and stuff um no matter what character i play i wouldn't do like a tenant string offline but i could i'll do it online why not and you just build i me personally i just built in tick and tag too i built a lot bad a lot of bad habits and so i i kind of decided not to play online you basically said that um, when you were playing against a lot of Aussies, um, mm. you would body them online. Yeah. But then, you know, when you, you go offline. Yeah, when you go offline and you go to the events. Yeah, not um, so you much. Know, not so much. Yeah. Eh? I, I, I lost the same before I used to be online. So it's, you know, there's people who are body me <coughs> offline online as well. Mm-hmm. And they'll still body me on offline. This is the, but the people I used to uh, beat online, I used to lose to them offline. Oh, and wow. I was like, what? And it no was like, kidding. you know, a month... Like last week I play against uh, this guy online. Uh, next week I'll go play him, and he'll destroy me in a tournament. And I was like, "What the hell? Why? Do I, why?" Do I? And then I watch my matches. All sorts of bad habits that mm. come that come from me from online play. Same thing happened with Street Fighter um, Five. Don't like playing that online, and plus it's laggy. People's connection sucks. People mm. play on wireless, and I can't forgive you if you play on wireless. Nah, that's bad. It's there's yeah it's the worst thing that you could ever do is game on wi-fi yes oh uh, it is the most absolute cancer you not only disappoint everyone but also yourself <laughs> just remember that <laughs> absolutely so really about uh, moving forward there uh Ajith, basically this is this podcast is really about me interviewing you uh-huh. as a player so um you did say that um you know with street fighter and if you you're very big on um you know playing a lot of fighting games yes i say so you know um i guess what tekken was the first thing you started off with no i used to play, I used to be a, uh, play uh, dota one and that's really that's not a fighting game oh you mean fighting game okay so tekken was the first fighting fighting game i got into yes the only one i played for a long time after that i got into marvel vs capcom three yes that's right yeah um that was it was so cool watching you, man. It was so fun. It's still the most fun game I've played in my life. Uh, Didn't you used to be one of the better ones? Like the best player in, in Wellington? Uh, yeah, in Wellington we had me, Nemesis, and J Skulls. We were the best players and the only players for Marvel 3. So, yeah. Um, I used to do okay at the tournaments. Used to get second or third. I would always lose to Mason. Every single time. Um, so Zazov wants to talk to you there. Oh, what about SF4? Well, you, you got good at SF4 for one reason, man. Oh, yeah, I was getting to that. So I was, <laughs> I was playing Marvel uh, for a long time. And the guys locally, they, they played Street Fighter 4 for ages. <coughs> um, a lot of Street... Uh, I used to see the same guys who played 4 uh, back in Time Zone playing uh, Third Strike. Mm. And Street Fighter always looked Street, cool. Yeah, that was... um. Because you guys only had one machine when it was vanilla. Uh, when I take Tekken 6. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah one machine the, and uh, right next to it when people would actually wait for their games, um, you know, on Tekken, mm. it would be people playing, wa- playing pe- Third People Strike. watching or playing Third Strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it always looked cool. Um, always see people could do real cool stuff. But, like, watching people do that, it just looked hard. Look real hard, and I don't mm. want to get into it. I don't want to get into another fighting game at the arcade. Yeah, I already dropped enough money on Tekken, you know, so mm. I'm not, I wasn't prepared to do that. Mm-hmm. But then I started playing Marvel, watched these guys play Street Fighter Four. I was like, yeah, Street Fighter Four is cool. I like what I always like watching it. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like playing it. Yeah. Um, and then we were in Melbourne one tournament. A lot of us went over. 
um, to compete uh, for Shadow Showdown. I think yes. it was the second one we went to. Yeah. And there was this there was this dude talking shit on on the Shadow stream. Oh, saying, okay. Is saying he... how all the New Zealand Street Fighter players are free. So he's New Zealand, right? Yeah, he's from oh. he's from like close to Auckland somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, he's saying all the New Zealand guys are free and stuff, and then um, everyone got mad, but no one really said anything. And then after I after we got back, I'm like, I'm gonna call this guy out. So I posted on Standing Fierce for him, <coughs> saying no, I don't I can't remember what I said. Somehow a money match came about, mm-hmm. and then saying somehow that was a lot of money though. Yeah, so I I, don't, I can't remember what it started on. But it ended up at five hundred dollar money match, uh, and then that got delayed. I think that got delayed for yeah, like a year. Um, oh, what? So you had a year to prepare? Like, Shadow Showdown was I forgot when, uh, Octoberish, mm-hmm. or well, around now, and then we actually ended up playing in March, I think. It took a while. Uh, there was like two events that we both didn't go to. A uh, one event I went to, one event uh, he that event he didn't go to. Yes. And the next event, both of us didn't go to. And it was the next event after that. I think it was First Blood. Um, someone can probably correct me. Um, we played, and I picked up, I picked up, DiCaprio. She was new. Uh, and I'll, and the charge cami. The yeah, pretty much the, the charge, charge cami. cami. Yeah, okay. she was um, new. She's a charge character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came out in sure. Ultra. Um, she was really fun. I really liked playing her. She was real like m- a mobile mobility was huge, and she had good damage, good mix ups. Um, she was cool. And I always like Cammy, but why play Cammy when there's DiCaprio? She looks she looks way cooler, and I like her. Uh, and I like doing the, you know. Have you ever played uh, Chun Li in Street Fighter Four? Uh, I don't really play Street Fighter Four. I just like to watch it. Okay. Anyway, there, there's an input called uh, hands, so you pretty much um, push six buttons real fast, mm-hmm. six punches, and Chun uh, ki- six kicks, and Chun Li would do her <coughs> lightning hits. Yeah, and DiCaprio had her rapid daggers, which mm-hmm. was the same thing. So learning that was real fun. Yeah, I had to learn. I'd never done that input before, so I learned that. And then I was like, "Man, this character's fun." Mm-hmm. And I, I always like watching Street Fighter. And I was like, "Oh, I actually understand it now." So I like watching it even more, and I like playing it because of her. That was fun. And then I actually got, I actually got pretty decent. Uh, Jamie beat me one. He got into it as well. Mm-hmm. Zazo beat me one. Uh, one of the tournaments, uh, knocked me out. He was real proud, and I did. I did and beat him back the next tournament. I think it was nationals. Oh yeah. So I got my revenge. But he was getting good. If that game <laughs> was alive more, he would still. He would be really good now. Um. Yeah, and then I stopped playing Tekken pretty much after Marvel came out. Tekken Tag Two. Yeah, played. you kind of disappeared off the scene for a bit. Yeah, I mean, well, mind no, you, I did too. There's no arcade down there. There's no one. How can I play? You know. Yeah, that's I, true. I didn't even buy Tekken Six for console. I bought it on PSP, and DiCaprio was not cheap. She was a little bit cheap. Yeah, she was a little bit cheap. Yeah, yeah. According to Simp, of course, DiCaprio was cheap. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were cheap in that game. Okay, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. If you play, yeah, you wouldn't. Do you think that Street Fighter Four is actually a better game than Street Fighter Five? Uh, I think it does things better. You think it does things better? Some things better, and I think some things, some things Street Fighter Five does better. Mm-hmm. I hated crouch decks when I used to walk into Skynet where we have our rambats. I didn't play Street Fighter at the time. And I always wondered how people would always break throws with such precision. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, they're good. And then I walk into Skynet and I'd hear the press of buttons like robots. Just pressing buttons. And that was crouch ticking. So you press down, you hold down, mm-hmm. down back, so you block. And then you press light punch and light kick together. And in unison with their block string. Yes. So if they have any gaps where they throw you, <coughs> you will break the throw. Mm-hmm. And if they have a too big a gap, when you throw... Um, if there's no throw mm-hmm. coming out, you'll mash crouching light kick and you can convert that into a full combo. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, you can, I'll show you later, but okay. that was something that I hated. Um, but in Street Fighter Five, I hate crush counters like in neutral. You just, you just push standing fierce with Urian and someone walks into it, unfortunately, and then lose half life. Kind of sucks. <laughs> like things Street Fighter Four did better. Things Five does better. I, I'm not really a Street Fighter guy. I don't really care which game's better. Like Marvel Three, Ultimate Marvel Three shits on both of them, so I don't really care. Tekken shits on both of them. It doesn't really matter to me. I play it because it's fun. Um, but Tekken's out now, and I haven't really touched Street Fighter since. Oh, since you Tekken. played you played in Red Zone though. Yeah, I played tournaments, but I haven't, I haven't really played much. Tekken's like taken over my life again completely. 
And that's that's all good. Yeah. Well. Oh wow. Okay. What's happened there? Uh, something I disconnected. I think. Oh no. Can Damn it... computer. Again. Can can people still hear us? Or yeah. No. Nah, we can. Yeah. No. Nah, we're we're all good. We're all okay, good. Cool. It's just sometimes it does this, and it's really really annoying. Oh, yeah. That's too bad. Bloody PCs. Oh wow. So um. So anyway, you yeah, were so saying story, yeah. you were saying about um, you know that money match and went up to five hundred dollars and mm. then yeah, were you nervous at all? Were you no. actually prepared to pay that five hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah, I was prepared. Like, I knew he was he was decent, <laughs> and I didn't really. I just wanted to play, and you know, I, even if I made him sweat and got like, you know, I think it was the first of ten. If I got like, you know, if it was not free for him, that would have been fine for me. And then I had the OS of, hey, I didn't even play this game. I only <coughs> learned it to play you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I nearly beat you. Ha <laughs> ha. But then I beat him. I beat him. So, yeah. You beat him. I beat him. That, oh, that that, was... Sorry, that's my Indian coming out. <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. Oh, that's all good, man. But yeah, no, that's actually cool. That uh, that's, that's a, This is the kind of story that I like to hear. Yeah, that's, you yeah, know, that's pretty it, funny. It's, you know, it's not really about um, how it is. Is obviously, you know, when you play someone at an arcade... Or when you play someone online yeah, yeah. and all that other shit, you know, you're just like, you're like, oh man, I hate this guy. I hate him. Yeah. It's like, what? I, and then you sort of wonder because you're just like, why do I hate him? Because he's so cheap on the game. Yeah. But then like, you know, when you actually get to meet the person, you're like, hey, that person's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, like, I didn't hate this guy. He was a known troll, but he was pretty much sitting behind his computer talking shit about like 10 people who went over to Oz to compete. And that didn't really fly well with me. Like, he was talking about shit, shit about Street Fighter, the Street Fighter guys. I don't play. Mm-hmm. But, like, this dude's talking Keyboard Warrior. <clears throat> keyboard Warrior it up. And then, yeah, I forgot how how the actual money match came about. Mm. But, yeah, it was, that was pretty fun. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so, always good. People got way too um, friendly around to my liking, I think. People are real friendly now. There hasn't been another money match for a long time. Uh, I, I, I sort of want to, like, sort of stir the pot a little start bit. Start talking some shit out, yeah. yeah. and just yeah. start, like, getting some money matches. Yeah. You start calling things. Connor free. Yeah, <laughs> I, sure, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go that far, man. <laughs> no, Connor's a nice guy. You need to do someone who's, like, not that nice of a guy. Yeah, I don't want to, like, I don't want to get that far. Because, I mean, that's the thing. Connor <laughs> is really good at the game. But, man, like... Oh, look, Sim's calling you out. I know he's just, calling just me out. Don't worry, man. Look, he... look at my phone. Oh, you don't even see that Kappa face. So, I know. See, look at that. It's still I know, I know, I know. He's a, you know, he's a gringo. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it sounds, it sounds bad. Don't worry. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take, I'll take you on anytime, Sim. It's fine. <laughs> as long as it's not Street Fighter Five. as long as you're not using Dalsim. That's all uh, good. So if you use someone else, you'll play him with Street Fighter Five. I don't want to play him on Street Fighter. I don't even know the game. So you are how do free. You, how do you do? Yeah, well, I'm free on Street Fighter. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I'll but admit that. Tekken. I'll admit that. Yeah. Not on Tekken. I'll make you like you know. I'll I'll make you work for that make money. Make you cry. I'll make you work for that money, especially with uh, Xiao Yu. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's, I it's am take, free. Take off heaps guy talking shit. Yeah. No. Nah, it's fine. That guy's OG as man. Yeah. He's uh-huh. a he's an old school friend. Yeah. With everyone, and, and now and now Jamie's saying, "Wow, Jamie calling him out." I know. Hey, Jamie, how'd your red zone rumble victory go? <laughs> I thought you're gonna go home with two trophies. Did you get one? Hmm. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. But anyway, moving on. Well, what else you want to talk about? Well, basically, um, you know about the whole game there. I mean, there's other fighting games. I mean, were you a yes. King of Fighters kind of guy? No, yeah. I've, I've always liked watching. I so I. I used to be a huge casual CVS2 player. I used to play that shit all the time. Casually. Casually. But Iori was real cool to me. Yeah. And a lot of the SNK characters were real cool. Like Rugal was real cool. Geese mm-hmm. was real cool. But I didn't really know what... I didn't even know at that, at that point when CVS2 came out on console. Mm. I didn't know who those characters were. I didn't know what SNK was. Um, recently I got King of Fighters 14. That was a lot of fun. But... I don't want to, I don't have enough time to get into another game really. Mm, so, yeah. what about you? You you a fan? I was into King of Fighters '98 and things like that. Oh, yeah. I was a casual guy. Yeah. When it came to that kind of game, um, I used to be. I used to have one of those. Um, how how I got King of Fighters was I actually downloaded an emulator. Oh, true. Yeah. And um, 
Got on and that. obviously I was on I was on I was dial up. Mm. So um I would actually just leave the computer on and just like download all these ROMs and things like that and uh yeah, it was um it was great. Like, you know, I've got Garal Mark of the Wolves, oh, yeah. um you know X Men vs Street Fighter. Yeah. Uh, those are great times, eh? Um, but what I'll play on is uh, I used to go to Dixma, mm-hmm. and um, there was these counterfeit controllers that were um, that were kind of like um, PlayStation One. Oh yeah. PlayStation One controllers that were pluggable into the PC, and they were those old as plugs that they don't see anymore. Oh, okay. You know those ones you plug into the back of the like a cereal, board? like a cereal. Yeah, it's plug. a big one. It's yeah, like yeah. you know, it's like about a good thirty-two pin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like those printers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was huh. it's True. massive. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I used to just play with that, and it was great. Yeah, and uh, I think my favorite one is gonna be King of <laughs> Fighters two thousand, because oh, yeah. it was just. I used, to, I used to mash that. Yeah, I used to mash that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. I've I've always mashed King of Fighters. Like, since I found out what King of Fighters was. Mm. But I never really, like, l- took the time to learn it. Well, the um, striker scene, like, you know, the striker system yeah. on that game was broken. Oh, was it? I, it I was completely know. broken. Oh, okay. Cool. Like, um... I like broken things. Yeah, well, I mean, you can basically summon a striker without any kind of breaks in between. So, basically, what will happen is that you will actually... You, you'll be in the middle of doing a move. Yeah. They'll be, like, sort of jailed. Okay, yeah. And and you can call out your striker and continue on the combo. Sounds like Marvel. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So I guess it no well, King of Fighters came out I think maybe no, no, Marvel came out a little bit um later, right? L- nah, it was it was sooner. It was oh, really? Marvel One that came out first. Right. Marvel two came out a little bit I don't, later. I, I don't think. remember Marvel One at all. I remember um X Men Street Fighter played that a lot. But I don't remember Marvel One at all at all but yeah King of Fighters is fun but it probably won't be a game like competitive game next year this time mm. which is always a shame King of Fighters dies real quick just no no one wants to play really it's, it's always it's always great to watch uh, Evo but besides that I don't really want to get into it you know one game that I will never ever get into because it just first of all it doesn't look nice it doesn't uh, you know the movement's awkward. Can I guess? Yeah, Smash. No, okay. I like Smash. I'm, I know, I know. I love Smash. I know you play as well. I just said that. Uh, what game is that? Uh, I don't want to offend anyone, but um, I really don't like Injustice Two. Oh, yeah, that's fair. A lot of people don't like it. No, just no. looks. Do you like Mortal Kombat? Not much. Yeah, no. not, not so much. Like if we don't like either of those games, you won't like the other game. That's just the way it is. Um, it's a fun game. I like superheroes, and I like, I like. Injustice and I like Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat 10 was bullshit there was a lot of, there was, there was a lot of bullshit in that game. yeah yeah definitely um, I used to make Kung Lao um, I will be the first <laughs> to admit he was so cheap and he got Kung nerfed Lao. he got nerfed didn't Still he cheap. do that didn't he do that move where basically um, he'll just throw the hat down and then he'll he'll um, he'll move forward and he'll hit you again like and then he'll just do the mix up no so he'll do He'll do a strip, a block string, into head spin. Yeah. And then spin the head around, and mm-hmm. you use meter to do that. And then that was like plus twenty nine on block. Mm-hmm. So you can run in their face and do anything you want, and you'll be point blank and pushing them to the corner, and they can't do anything. And that's Kung Lao. Yeah, that was nerfed. They made it from plus twenty nine to like ten or something. I'm not sure, but it was still good. Um, and then I played Predator. It was a lot of fun, but Mortal Kombat died like a year in New Zealand if that wasn't even alive uh, in a, and Injustice 2 no one, will, no one will be playing that game after Nationals this year mm-hmm. um, it won't like, I stopped playing that game the minute Tekken came out I haven't touched it since Tekken came out right I right. played that Crush Counter but besides that I haven't touched it um, which is a shame there's a, there's a few other people here that were saying other stuff so obviously with Yig saying that uh, his respect is plummeting <laughs> it's fine it's fine I mean Come on, man. You still, I still respect you for your show, you man. I'll just say one thing. It's fine. You're all a bunch of nerds playing the same shit. Okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter what game you play. Oh, okay. <laughs> Insane there. I don't making like some heat there. I don't like. Smash. You know what? I actually reckon would be um, a good person to have on the podcast. Who? Penalicious. That guy is a massive <laughs> troll, and he'll call anybody out. He would. He 
He was on stream today at LPL talking shit about Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I forgot. I think it was Maven. It was when you were driving us here. Oh, true. I, and I was watching the Maven and Zaza play. Yeah. And Pina was talking shit about Filipinos. <laughs> it was great. Wow. It was so funny. That was funny. No, well, that that's Filipino for you. That means Pina. Pina yeah. is Filipino. Sorry about shout that. Out, shout out to my inside man. Yeah. Inside man on the scene. Yep. Yeah. But uh, no, nah, like it just seems that this podcast is actually not too bad. Yeah. We got seventeen it was, viewers. It was fun. And I mean, if you, I think a good, good going forward thing is put it on sound, like SoundCloud and things like that. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Me personally, I hate watching um, podcasts. I mean, I used to watch uh, the Street Fighter one. I forgot the name. It was some by some UK dudes. Um, but then they stopped putting it on SoundCloud, which really pissed me off. So I stopped watching. I just you know, I'm not gonna watch Twitch on my on the bus. Mm. You know, that's where I watched a lot of stuff when I go to work, and I can't do that. Like, if you put it on SoundCloud, I can watch it and play Hearthstone at the same time. True that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. And you should definitely do that, because I will listen and play Hearthstone at the same time. Hearthstone is cool. The Jumpin', that's the one. The Jumpin'. The Jumpin'? Yeah, that's, that's the Street Fighter podcast I was talking about. Oh, yeah. right, okay, okay. I don't no. know if they still do it, I stopped following ages ago. But I don't really listen to podcasts anymore. Mm. Maybe that'll change. Yeah, yeah, mm. for sure. But uh, yeah, no, um, I think that um, this is actually going to be good moving forward. Um, the podcast is actually quite good. That's I good. Actually, good I actually enjoy sort of interviewing you. Mm. It was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it um, was fun. Yeah. And one last question actually for you. Sure. Is um, I've been told to ask every one of my, uh, of my interviewers this. Okay. Who is your fighting game waifu? Like, who, what character? Yeah. Oh man, that's so hard. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> come on, man! Like, come on. The... Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Can I like tweet it out later? No, I you cannot. Think about it? No, you have to actually think about it now. Okay, since I am playing her at the moment, I will say Eliza for now. That could change. Eliza. Before, before up to Eliza, Nina was my waifu. Oh, I think I, think, I never um, played her. I think Zazob will kill you for that. I never played her, but Nina was cool. I don't really play much chick characters. Leo doesn't count. She's ambiguous. Um, she's not a waifu as well. I never really played chick characters much. Yeah. Yeah, but Nina was always. Oh, I always Eliza had, always had my bad. eye on Nina. No, you know? but Eliza's bad though. I mean, what's that Eliza's disease? Hot. What's that? No, what's that disease that she has? Vampirism? No, that She's one. A vampire. That, no, the one that she falls asleep, like you know. Oh, uh, I think narcolepsy. Yeah, okay. that. Like, imagine. That's if, all good. Well, what happens if you know that you know if you're on the altar and you're like you're like uh, just do you take Eliza? He's like I. I'll be like just wait. <laughs> she'll wake up. She'll come. She's back. just building meter. She'll come it's back. Like, you now you you can now kiss the bride. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. Nina is a waifu. What do you mean? Oh no. Like, I don't, I don't know the technical <clears throat> definition of a waifu, but I just, Nina's a waifu, okay? Nina is yeah. a waifu? Yeah, who's yours? She, well, I mean, I'm, everybody probably knows. Ling? Well, I've been, I've been, I've been um, using Xiaoyu since um, forever. Uh, well, no, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. When I started playing Xiaoyu, it wasn't Xiaoyu that I was playing. Who are you playing? It was oh, Tekken yeah, 4 that's Miharu. Right, Miharu. Um, so, I so played, yeah, I, you, I didn't even know, but you told me a couple of weeks ago that Miharu was a, no, the ultimate skin for Shayu in Tekken yeah. 4. Oh, uh, you didn't know that? I didn't even know yeah, that until yeah, you told me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, Tekken Tag 2, one of the reasons I hated it is they put the same character again and again and again. Like, Miharu and Ling had two separate character slots. Yeah. Bob and Slim Bob. Two character slots. But yeah. Slim Bob was kind of weird. Didn't look like Bob. I think that's all. when I stopped playing Tekken Tag 2 as much. When some Bob and stuff came out. Oh, no, nah, that was dumb. Um, But anyway, uh, I'm looking <coughs> around and I don't see anything of Ling. So how can you say she's a waifu and you don't have anything of hers? Well, no, no I don't. Yeah. I mean, she's, okay, she's only had... <laughs> um, he's Okay, for all those that don't know, um, Blackout is actually talking about my two glass figure cabinets. Pretty impressive collection. Oh, they're like about, what, 1.6 meter high? Yeah. Yeah, for both That's of cool. them. And all of them are filled up with, like, anime figurines. Um, 
I the reason why I don't have a Shao Yu one is because they didn't release a good one. Uh, okay. That's a good there reason. was one Shao Yu figure that they released, and it is ugly as shit. <laughs> it is absolutely ugly. Cool. That's a good I reason. absolutely hated it. I wonder if they're going to do uh, more for Tekken 7. Uh, who knows? But it'll be good if I... they give her a better one. I mean, she's she's come along. Shao Yu's come a long way. Yeah. She has come a long way. She was ugly, man, when she in was three, in she Tekken 3. Hideous. You've seen that... Um, uh, the meme. That, yeah, I the saw avatar the avatar and... Um, not the avatar, the reaction little emoji in the discord of Ling yes yeah it's hideous have you seen it no oh, yeah, I I'll haven't. show you i put it up right now um, oh my goodness this is going to be shocking. interesting look look it's that bottom one. Oh yeah no I saw that that thanks babe yeah that thing <laughs> yeah that was ugly man horrible her at the worst you don't deserve her at the best well I yeah <laughs> I don't know no, but I, I did actually play her in Tekken 3 after, like, you know, I, I sort of went to Tekken 5, played that competitively, mm. and then I went back to Tekken 3, oh, and yeah. just realized how broken she was. Mm. She is absolutely broken at that game. i just say, besides Eliza, the only other female character I like in another fighting game. Melia? Jam? Ooh. Dizzy? You just named three mo- two most annoying characters. <laughs> that their voices just uh, mute it. Um, DiCaprio. She's waifu. She's Except- a robot. No, she's not. No, she's not a robot. She's a clone. So? Can't have Cammy have DiCaprio. All good. No, well, Cammy's Jamie's at the moment. Jamie takes all of them, eh? Yeah, Jamie takes all the women. First Chun yeah, Lee. Such, a, such now- a player. Yeah. I know. Doesn't he have a girlfriend? Man. Yeah, I know, right? I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just okay with just having Xiao Yu. Like, I think that um, when um, when Miharu actually was um, was in Tekken 4, you know, since obviously she wasn't in Tekken 5, and that's when Xiao Yu was there, I'm like, okay, well, let's play some Xiao Yu. And, um, and that's basically, um, that's when it all was history. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, when Tekken 5 came out, I was playing Jin. Oh, yeah. yep. Then, obviously, this, this is um, already a story that's already on the internet. Is I was playing gin, mm-hmm. then I broke my leg. That's right. Yeah, yeah I yeah, broke yeah. my fibula, and um, yeah, I was in a cast for like a week and uh, sorry, a month and a half, six weeks, mm. and um, yeah, and basically as when I when I got out of the cast because obviously when I was in the cast I wasn't working, mm-hmm. I was getting ACC, and I was basically just in bed. Just jamming games. That's yes. the that's the time when I jammed the most games. True. Yeah, it was that time. Took a lot of time. Oh, that was great. <laughs> and um, and I was getting paid for it. Yeah. And should, it was you great. You should break your leg again. I know. Maybe <laughs> every one of us should break our legs and get good at Tekken. Well, kind of already there. Anyway. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> is that how it is now? But if I break a, if you break your leg, I can't I can't fly up to Auckland. Yeah, you can. No. Yeah, you can. If I'm bedridden. No, you're not. You, well, you've broken your leg. You can get around in a wheelchair. That's true. I get special treatment because I'm a handicap. Well, this is this is the funny thing. When I broke my leg, um, I was um because my dad is in a wheelchair. Yeah. And my mum was like, "Okay, we're taking you out." I was like, "All right, cool. I'll just grab the crutches." And mum was really, really protective. Yeah. So she was like, "Oh no, no, no! You you need dad's wheelchair." So I'm like, oh, "Fine." So, yeah, let's get the wheelchair. And then, so, I was, like, you know, wheeling around in a wheelchair. And um, and then there was, like, all these people that would just be like, oh, oh, you know, we're sorry, we're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it was great. You know, you get the best treatment. It's, yeah, when you, if you're on crutches, not so much. Oh, you still do. A little bit, but not, not nearly as much. If, if you're not, you can just use your crutches and sort of hit them with it. <laughs> get out of my hey, way. I, I've been hit by crutches before. It hurts, okay? Don't do that. Speaking of crutches... Yes. um. I actually, I don't know if um, if he still plays anymore, but my good old friend Kyoke. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Um, I actually gave him a set of crutches, like you know, an old walking cane. Um, Is that because he's an old man? Yeah. Yeah. So nice. and apparently he said he said to me he goes he's like oh I was like oh how's the walking cane going bro ha 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 and then he's like oh it's actually great I've actually hit people with it and I'm like what who did you hit and he's like I've hit Nuan twice. I've hit, I've hit death twice. Uh, I've got uh, like he's like, yeah, and he goes yeah, and he goes I've hit T four Jin a few times. Uh, I whacked a Jith. No, he didn't. Didn't he? No. Well, he said he whacked you once. No. Like he sort of just went ah and just poked you with it or oh, something. Oh, snapped that shit in half. 
Don't oh. even touch me. <laughs> it's all from good fun, man. I never would know that guy back then. <clears throat> if, he, if some random came up to you and smacked you with a crutch, how would you react? I don't know, but just take it and just be like, yep, cool, no. mine now. <laughs> Time zone is a dangerous place, okay? I'll just... No, well, I'll just snatch it off them and just be like, okay, cool. These are just newer. These are newer than my old man's. Okay, cool. I'll just give it to my old man. <laughs> All good. All good. No, I actually didn't know Alice for a while um, when we we played each other, and then I forgot we um, we went to have Subway together with like chicken, not chicken, Chicago and stuff. With so, chicken. <laughs> chicken. That's what we used to call Chicago. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah, I chickage. remember that. Um. Chikage was actually, um, you know, weird encounter. He, um, he's a scrub. He was, he was, but no, what I was, is. he I is, said, I said is not was, he was. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. He is. You're that, you're, yeah. you're that confident. No, he's just saying he is. Doesn't go to tournaments, man. To he, to he started to, I know, it's good. he started it's good. to, it's good. It's good. um, it took, it took a long time to convince I know. him. <laughs> I know. It took a long time, but, uh, we got there in the end. It was saying, cause he's really good. Like he'll upset a lot of people. Mm. Which is why I wanted to go to tournaments. Yeah. Well, he's he's beaten BG at tournaments a couple of times. Mm. And but BG historically hasn't done well in tournaments. True. He he does well, have Thomas, that history. Thomas does a lot better than him now. Well, overall, I think um, mm. I think Mr. Choi is actually a lot Me better. Too. Me too. In, in the Although, whole game. I haven't seen BG play Tekken 7 mm. at all. So <clears throat> Last time I saw him play was um, Tekken 6 VR. I didn't see him play tag at all. Okay. I can't recall him playing tag at all. Yeah. Because whenever I used to come to tournaments, it was just Thomas entering. Thomas, Jamie, you were there. Connor was there. No, no BG. I remember the two on two matches for Tekken 6. Those were fun. cool. That was real fun. Yeah. Yeah. I beat BG, but then I got bodied by Thomas. Sad. That, oh, that duo was, un- was unstoppable. That's sad. Man. Why would they do that? <laughs> Well, it was BG and Jamie at the first one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think that the second one, we uh, there was a massive. Uh, well, we almost uh, like we we almost beat you guys. Mm. Like it was myself and Jet. Yeah, He's an it was, old it school was guy. Me and, like, me and Toothy. Yeah, you and Toothy. Yeah. I bodied you. Yeah, and then Toothy beat you. No, yeah. Toothy beat um like Simon, and then and then I went two three, to to Toothy. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, yeah. man. And that was, I think that was my second time playing. Because I, I played you once when you came down to Wellington. Mm-hmm. And then we played a lot. And then that was my second time playing you. And you've gotten way better. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> now, well, Xiao Yu is a unique character. <laughs> yeah, like, I think after that team tournament, mm-hmm. I learned Xiao Yu myself. Oh, yeah. I never played her, but I just learned what she can do. And before that, I didn't really do it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, she was... I actually liked playing as Xiao Yu. I think she's really fun to play. Just like, like her evasiveness and movement is cool. I like being mobile. Yeah, cool. well, that's I guess that's probably why I picked up Jack. Is it's sort of like a disciplinary thing, really. It's mm. just like okay, well, I've got um, someone who's really evasive, likes to move around a lot, whereas very Jack, fast, yeah. and whereas Jack is very clunky but hard hitting, and you know. Yeah, I mean, total his, opposite. His main movement options are back dashing and four foot one, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't really have much to work with. He's a very simple character, but it forces you to play, play like solid. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the reason Saint's so good is not because of Jack. It's because Saint's a monster with Jack. So it's yeah, like I said, if you put, I guess that you know, if Jack was a vessel, it's really like you know who controls that vessel. Jack's a really hard character to play. Yeah. Probably, you, you, e- everything yeah. he does is unsafe and risky. Uh, like you do go for a launch, it's minus fourteen. Brian can launch you for doing that, at from like most ranges. So it's a pretty risky thing to do. You just gotta, you know, you gotta read them right and oh, they're side stepping right. I'm gonna do down forward two to catch them, stuff like that. Mm. You gotta play pretty solid and you gotta know your, you gotta know your game, well, and that's why people who got good jack players they do well. Yeah, well, I good. guess JDCR has really good. Is it no? It's Saint. Saint who plays Saint Jack. is the one. Yeah, that's right. I uh, keep forgetting. JDC has also a monster. Yeah. No. Well. Um. With Saint is that you know he's got. It's just the sort of the fundamentals. You know, he just sort of has that foundation of knowledge. Yeah. And that's what makes him a monster, I guess. Yeah. He used to play um, Hayashi and someone else in Tekken Tag Two. That's when I first heard of him. He used to do like hey, uh, Hayashi's um, <clears throat> just frame combos as bread and butter combos. And also with the chat there, we've got Gunmo saying, is the tournament finished? Uh, no, this is week one. 
So uh, I believe we went down to top 12 this week. And then next week we'll go down to top 8. And then after that, top 4. Mm-hmm. And then top 4 will play... Um, I am not sure when. But they'll play for the finals. Mm-hmm. And then the same top 4 will play against the internationals. Um, right. There's an open, open, open tournament on 9th of September on a Saturday. It might be 8th. And then the following Monday will be the actual finals for everything. Uh, someone please uh, send him the link to the uh, to the results and everything. Yeah, and he, yeah, we'll be able to let him find out what it is. But uh, it was... I think that, yeah, I need to get back into the lab. I'm actually really glad that I didn't, um, you know, go, I, I didn't get sent home. Mm. Yeah. Um, I was hanging by a thread, though. Yeah. Yeah, because... Never I, stay. Well, I mean, I got beaten by this guy, like P-Town, who played Eddie... And then, you know, and then I go into loser's bracket to face NCA. <laughs> it's like, dude, what the heck? How am I going to, how am I going to climb out of this? Yep. But then I came through. Mm. And yeah, that, so that was a really good match. Um, it was pretty clear that you didn't know Eddie well. So that's something you need to work on. Mm. Um, and I think your opponent next week will be either Parasite NZ or Zazub. Zazub. Yep. Or Zazub. Zazub. Uh, Parasite plays Claudio. Yep. To do do some homework for that, um, and then just go like hit Jamie with a car or something, uh, <laughs> and, and that's your homework for him. I think he'd be sweet. <laughs> I think he'd be fine. That yeah. was great. That is awesome. Oh no. Oh, what Maven won? Oh, do you see that? I didn't see that. I don't. My brackets aren't updating. Um, oh, I have no idea. What did he win? Wow, that's actually a big upset. No, oh, he won against um. Honey, honey, more whiny. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. Well, I thought damn. I thought that it was Zazo. He's like, he's like, oh, Maven was. Like, no, what? I watched that match. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I was um, I was uh, driving. Yeah, that's, that's right. too bad because I liked I like Honey, honey, and he's hype. And I was hoping he'd show get the people the gigas, uh, the best gigas in New Zealand. The best gigas yes, in New Zealand. Yes, the best gigas in New Zealand. Show me someone else, you know. Um, but he he was he was bringing the hype for Red Zone. Shame he's out. Oh man, like Honey Honey was awesome at um, Red Zone. Yeah. I think that for me at Red Zone Rumble, um, I had to do it. You know what I did, right? Yeah, I, you did. I did the whole hype thing. Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that was pretty funny. Uh, watching the archives, you can actually hear it a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I've, been, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of archives recently. I think we should do that at, um, at Sky City. With JDCR and... Oh, Zane yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm hoping the tournament turnout for that is good. And I'm hoping the international will just destroy everyone. I heard that Tanukana is actually coming as well. Yeah, so there's no no one's confirmed anything. Yeah. So whatever people are well, saying. If so, terrible. if so, you know, like um, I I need to get her to sign my controller. Mm. Like you know, it'll be good. Like need that permanent marker. Uh, is she the best co- best link player? No, by far. No, yeah, no, by yeah. far. Um, I heard, not, I heard, um, she, by far, she's not the best. I heard. Player. I heard Nobi had a really good. Ling Shaoyu from Japan. So I need to watch him. Okay. What? Nobi plays Shaoyu? Yeah, apparently. That's what people are saying. What? Uh, uh, I forgot when. A couple of, a couple of tournaments ago. People are saying Nobi has a really good um, Ling Shaoyu. Well, so pretty much, I out. think that for me, like all the Shaoyu players that I've known, like, you know, that are infamous for Shaoyu, mm. is obviously uh, in New Zealand, it'll be myself. Yep. Um, not the best show, not not even a good show, you. But <laughs> I don't know um, any other show you players. Well, yeah, well, and then you have, uh, Yeggs from Australia. Yep, yep, yeah. Been playing show you, um, from from what longer I know, than I have. Yeah, from what I know, longer been, than I have, definitely. When I got into Tekken DR, he was playing like main show you. Yeah, time, exactly. So, um, then I, you have. So there's one show you play in, yeah, in, in Aussie. New Zealand and one in Aussie. Yeah, uh, you have Tanukana, obviously. Yep. Yeah, and it's actually a really good thing, you know, being a female gamer and everything like that mm. gives a lot she of is, courage is, to um, females. There's one, there. yeah, she's she's one, and then there's another one uh, from America. I forgot her name, um, but she's pretty good. Uh, the only American one that I know is Peeling. No, she was sorry, she's not a show player. Uh, she's just a female gamer. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, Peeling is Peeling is bloody good as well. Yeah, Peeling's pretty good. So you've got that. So yeah, like. Handful of Xiaoyu players. Yeah. Just a That's handful. Rare. Yeah. Like, That's rare. Thank God. 
<laughs> she's, so, she's so good. But then but, you I mean, have people that just keep complaining about her. Like, everything... Like, you can... Yeah, she's good. But you got options to beat her. Yeah. You just need to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Stop being a scrub. <laughs> but I still get body by Ling. I'm going to complain, but I'm also going to learn about her, so... Yeah, for it's, sure. It's okay if you do both. All right, well, basically... Um, I think that we've run out of time here, so <laughs> before Ortiz. yeah, before we uh, ride off into the sunset, tick and player Jamie, come and on, everything. <laughs> wow, Ricky Ortiz. So yeah, no. Um, for first of all, I'd like to thank um, Blackout Ajith for coming on to the uh, podcast. Talk. Um, uh, what what do you have to say about this moving forward? Uh, um, LP was a lot of fun. I need to. I'm hoping Jamie and Thomas get both get eliminated next week. That'd be that'd be good for me. Yeah. That would be good for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't worry, man. Yeah. It's going to happen. I hope so. <laughs> Just, you know where he loves that. Uh, yeah, both of them. Well, who? What? So you want you want to take down Zazob and you want to take down Cornova? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, um, I think. Oh, Chicago, we're still live. Wait, we'll, we'll no, it's okay. I think Chicago knows where he lives. Oh, cool. I know exactly where Zazob lives. So oh, that's good. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, we'll make a plan. <laughs> we'll make it look like an accident <laughs> but anyway <laughs> but anyway man uh, thank you everyone for tuning in to the podcast I really enjoyed doing this um, one off podcast with a Jeff. why are you calling me a heel <laughs> okay, okay let me just clarify so when I called everyone free I didn't mean Wellington specifically I thought he said do you have anything to say about the players and I said you're all free but he actually <laughs> said Wellington um, but yeah anyway yeah, but no, um, thank you very much for coming on to the, uh, no to the podcast. It yeah, was it great was doing that. And I'm hoping that maybe next time um, we will probably have one with Zazob. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, you know, he's a bit uh, happy to, you know, to come on now ever since, you know, because we do have quite a few people watching this podcast. Yeah, I'm sure you are. And I'm pretty it. sure there'll be more people later yeah. on. Yeah, um, I'm sure that'll be fun. But yeah, um, it'll be good on the recaps and everything as well yeah, and he's yeah. gonna he's gonna get a picture as well he's gonna get a picture yes cool. definitely but um overall there what do you think of this picture of yourself uh, you, i like you, it i want to use think the color well. suits you very well yeah so <laughs> i want to get that for my twitter profile if i can so I oh, will... I'll, I'll ask that question i'm pretty yeah. sure he's in the he's in the chat right now yeah that'd be awesome so yeah no um i had that in my facebook profile picture for a very long time oh, true sweet yeah, but um, I guess he, because, you know, times have changed, I've grown a beard now, you know, he's decided to just, like, sort of doodle some <laughs> on there. Oh, I just realized you didn't put um, the tags on there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I, I realized that I'm pretty sure as everyone, soon as I started. Everyone watching it will already know. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, we will get that up and running later on, mm. but, um, yeah, it will be good. But, no, um, thank you very much for coming, in, uh, for, for coming into the podcast. Oh, thank right, you, man. everybody, for... Uh, tuning in uh i'm hoping to do this more next time so uh whoever um you know has me on facebook has me on twitter or anything like that um do send me a message discord um, also yeah just just with some feedback and you know what we can do to improve this podcast and uh who would be a good idea to have on the show as well Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. No, well, thank you very much for that, Ajith. No worries. Looking forward to more. Yeah, definitely. All right. Over and out. Bye.